Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome to my channel, Authentic Beauty Handmade Dolls and Crafts. In this video, I'm going to show you how to attach your doll's head to her body. Uh, first, I just want to show you, this is the second Shaka doll that I made. And I decided to put the little, um, what do you call this, like little rhinestone around her head. And it's just, is that gorgeous? Oh my God, I just so love it, love it, love it. I really love it. And for her neck, I put like the little um, rhinestone in the earrings. I wanted them to match. So, um, so anyway, we are going to, let me get her in focus. We're gonna go ahead and get started. One of the things I wanna remind you, in case I forget in the video, is that when you are attaching the doll's head if you're going to put a certain type of jewelry around her neck like this doesn't matter because it's kind of like sticky or sometimes if it's stretchy but for a lot of things that i uh, for a lot of, a lot of my dolls i have to put their jewelry around their neck before i attach the head to their body so if you're going to put something around your doll's neck that is a really snug fit and it's like you know like a bracelet or something really cute you might want to go ahead and put it on before you ladder stitch the head to the body thank you so much for watching let's go ahead and get started with this diy hello darlings now we're going to attach Shaka's head to her body. First, you're going to need some 16 gauge wire with the plastic coating. This is actually my favorite. You can purchase it from Lowe's or Home Depot. It's very malleable and easy to use, but once you start to twist it, it becomes very uh, sturdy and difficult to manipulate. So you might want to get a pair of needle, what is this needle nose um, pliers to help. You know, you want to make sure you bend down the edges so that it doesn't rip the fabric. And what I'm going to do is make sure that the wire is long enough to touch the top of the doll's head. And then um, I'm going to use a, you know, a wooden doll, and that is going to help me. You see, I'm using the the, the um, pliers to sharpen the <laughs> to sharpen the the wire to be able to insert it inside of the doll's head and, and inside of her body. So what I'm going to do is use a wooden doll, and I'm going to use that to create a little hole, like inside of the cotton. And you'll see me do it in just a second. And so here's the doll and I'm sticking it inside of the doll's head and even though I sped this video up you go, you just push it in and you move the cotton you keep it in one spot and you just move it around like you're stirring it right and it's going to create like a nice little hold that will allow you to put the wire inside of the doll's head and you're going to do the same thing to the doll's neck you see how I'm, I'm twirling it around that is creating a nice little hole trust me I know it doesn't look like it but trust me and it doesn't even need to have a point on it so now that I have created the perfect hole to insert the uh, the uh, wire inside of the neck then I am going to uh, uh, use some more filling cotton filling to fluff out the neck and the shoulder area so I'm, I'm bending it over to make it even more sturdy as you see because you want the neck really nice and sturdy so you can turn her head left right I mean it turns around you can you know really really well and it's very very sturdy now I know other doll makers like to put a hole in the back of the head and attach it to the body but when I use that technique I cannot get the the chin that I love that's just the chin in the around her her cheek area like I'm not sure it doesn't look good that's not the look I'm going for so this is why I use this technique is because I really like the way the dolls um, under her jawline it's the jawline and the chin that you achieve from doing this method so now that the wire is perfect you want to use some stuffing to, to give the neck girth so you want to make it really nice and firm and look perfect because remember this is probably going to be seen now 
if you're going to use a necklace on the doll that is not stretchy you this is a good once you have the girth of the neck that you're looking for you should go ahead and start putting the neck like the necklace is on I'm using stretchy bracelets so I didn't need to do that now I'm going to I am ladder stitching the doll's head onto her neck so I like to take the the doll's neck with the seam going down the middle and place it right at the very top of her neck of her um, clavicle or like the, where her head would meet her body and then ladder stitches so make it really neat and I always go around twice so now I am ladder stitching the doll's head neck to the top of her body and I'm taking my time because I want it to be extremely neat because sometimes I let this area show and sometimes I don't but it's still no matter what you do you always want to make it look neat so the ladder stitch is basically where you take um, one stitch the way the best way someone explained it to me is you you stitch one side and you go across the street and you stitch the other side and you go back and forth across the street and as, and as you pull it it looks very nice and neat and make sure that you go around twice now my favorite picture of my dolls and I've probably said this before and I can't remember if it was if it was a queen or if it was Mary I can't I mean one of the but basically one of the queens I think they sh they beheaded her and because they killed her but her head was too big for the the encasement so they cut off her head and they placed it in her arms and that is how she arrived and man I don't know what it is but that is my favorite doll shot so once I make the body I think of every doll I've ever made I always have a picture of her holding her head <laughs> After, really after reading that because I thought it was so bizarre and entertaining and something just so deep about it. I can't even put words to it so um, once you have you know the head and the neck on perfect oh let me tell you another thing if you don't like it if you need to stuff the neck a little bit more or stuff the shoulder area the clavicle area a little bit more all you have to do is just take some little um, a seam ripper or some sharp not even that sharp scissors the scissors don't even have to be that sharp child and just go ahead and just you know start over you can start over it's very user friendly and um, it's very very sturdy and you also want to make sure that you're using a doll needle like a needle with some you know fight to it a needle that's sturdy and strong and can take some abuse because even with a good doll needle I think they call them doll needles usually after uh, after I finish one doll with the because uh, I usually use a, a, a firm needle for sculpting and for attaching limbs when I finish that doll it, it's the needle is probably like in a it's, it's already like in a banana shape a little bit you know what I mean like a little crescent shape so you want to use a firm a firm needle and you also and I should have said this first make sure that you're using nylon thread the type of thread that you would use uh, I think they call it like carpet thread or but it's a it's not um, a fabric thread it's, it's called nylon thread you definitely don't want to use regular thread when you're attaching any of the limbs to the body you know another thing is don't decorate your doll's face before attaching her head to her body because you will need to manipulate her and you'll misplace her earrings her eyes her lips I mean I was excited and I think I had made another doll and because I was uh, because I'm doing this for my YouTube channel I'm always thinking about what the thumbnail is going to look like so I thought well she needs to have like earrings and a nose you know and a mouth and uh, you know, I want her to look decent for her thumbnail but it's very impractical to put her lips on and to you know put their earrings on and also I found a new technique to put the lips on which is to actually use some fabric glue which works wonderfully but the only downside to it is 
if you just if you put the lips on and you decide later that eh, this is not the look I'm actually going for, you won't you know you won't feel happy about it. I mean you won't be able to change it. Like when you the thing that's beautiful about needle sculpting about the you know ladder stitch method is that if something isn't right you can always replace it. But once you start using glue, it changes the texture of the fabric, and a lot of times you can't. You know, you you can't replace it with something else. So I've tried to pull lips off with the glue, and it it distorts the fabric. But if you use the thread, you can literally just nip the thread, and it comes off perfectly. So as you see, can see here, we are coming to a beautiful closure. Um, and I think I go around at least twice, and I stitch the final stitches, maybe about three or four times right you, you see here I'm just looping it to make sure it's nice and tight okay so we have attached Shaka's head to her body and look look how it turns and look how it bends isn't that gorgeous okay tell me the truth isn't it good she's looking at us hi Shaka 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 oh my god isn't she cute I love her so much so now I'm taking some bracelets that I bought from Walmart I think they were I don't know like maybe five six dollars and I'm placing them around her neck one of them the chain one I really couldn't figure out how to attach it I guess I could have attached like a little extra piece of chain but I thought eh, it's not the big a deal so I just attached it to one of the other pieces or I don't know if I decided not to use it but um, because the pieces are stretchy which I prefer it's easier to see look it's right over her head really nice and neat and if I ever wanted to you know change her her necklaces to uh, match her outfit which you know I can easily do so but this is a more of like an art doll so the way she looks is the way she's gonna look but that is how you attach her head to her body and give her that look at those necklace isn't that gorgeous she has her necklace, her choker necklace is around her neck. So now this is the method I use for the other Shaka doll. I use the rhinestone strip. I, actually, I bought this from Walmart as well. Maybe, I don't know if I bought this from Walmart or from Michaels. I can't remember because it's sticky. It has a sticky back. And I just literally cut it and just tacked it on to her neck. Now, to, to make this more secure, you should probably use like a fabric glue or hot glue. But remember, if you use glue, you know, it's a done deal. It's a commitment. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a, otherwise you might have to replace her neck or something. So be careful with, you know, like I said, with the glue, it's a whole different type of commitment. And I also bought earrings from Walmart. And I just literally take the earring little fish hook and I stick it in the fabric isn't that pretty oh my god it's so pretty I love her so much look okay and I, I bought these rhinestones I'm 100% sure from Michaels and I'm literally just taking the little gemstones and it has a sticky back and what I would typically do is use some type of crazy glue the gel kind the, the um and just you know just nip and nip just re be very careful because if you use too much it can actually burn the fabric but just be very careful but it does have a sticky back and for my purposes for the camera all you know all you have to do is just go ahead and just stick it to the fabric and it will stick and then when you are ready to use the crazy glue just lift up a little you know make sure you already have everything in place just like I'm doing here and then you're going to just lift the little end, a little dab with, with glue. Just whatever little area you peel up, that's where you put the glue and you place it back down. Um, and another reason why I use this head method is because if you use the method where you take the doll's neck and you stick it in the back of her head, you won't get this head shape, and which is my favorite. I love, see how perfect her head is? Isn't that gorgeous? It's just a perfectly round, beautiful head. If you don't want to use the rhinestone stickers around the circumference of the doll's head, you could also use a bracelet like I did for this Shaka doll. 
this is actually a bracelet and I just used the, the little area and I used a little glue to stick up the little fringes on the end I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to attach the head on your shaka 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 cloth doll thank you so much for watching I know there's a doll inside of you who is dying to come to life and only you can breathe life into her. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.